I'll turn you down a little bit higher. <sighs> Rainy day. An amazing fellow on the screen. The guy who reminds me of uh, someone I've actually saw on uh, Jet Set Radio Future. Perfect. Very cryptic there. What the hell? Hey, keep up my video. I was busy watching Raz. Hello, Nicora. Hello, Nicora. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's me. My YouTube my YouTube name is Nicora, but um, what what's up? Is something the matter? How'd you get into my computer? I mean, I don't understand. How the hell did you get into my computer? Is all I want to know. Do not worry, worry about the house or what, my friend. However, I have another good source that um. You're going to be cosplaying a uh, certain YouTuber you have a crush on, correct? Oh. <laughs> I have a mission for you. You want to help me out? It may help you out in the long run. <laughs> well, um, sure, I guess. I mean, I'm always up for something new. I mean, I'm pretty open to things, but you want me to... what? The mission is, my friend, is to create a cosplay makeup design based on this person that you're cosplaying as next to your dear. Now, according to this file that I have here, you're cosplaying as the Scottish YouTuber Razbowski. Ooh, what beauty. If I wasn't stuck in the Matrix, I know what I'd be doing. But anyway, according to this file, he has this orange clad hacker persona called Orange Boy. Am I correct? So, are you up for the challenge of creating this orange themed look? Or do I have to get someone else to do that? Oh, I guess so. I mean, I. I'm pretty much like to, uh, do makeup and cosplay and all that stuff, well, uh, Shut your uh, witchy shut behind your up! Behind up! Behind now, up. all you gotta do to all accept this mission, mission is touch the screen, touch the screen in front of you. Yes, I know, it makes no sense that you're gonna be touching a laptop screen. But, still, nonetheless, touch the screen and I will use my matrix powers to send you the outfit. And I shall give you your code name. Instead of being Orange Boy, which he is, you shall become Orange Gal. Now that's not so lovely. Go ahead, sweetheart. Touch it. And let the Matrix hacking begin. <laughs> okay, that was really rude, whoever you are. But, sure. I guess I'll touch the screen. I mean, what's there to lose? What the hell am I getting myself into? All I gotta do is touch the screen and it will send me something? Alright. I'm a little nervous about this, but here goes. What the? Okay, I touched the screen, but my laptop looks normal and my screen still looks the same as when I touched it. Look next to you. Next I already you. sent it. <laughs> what the hell? How'd you? What? What is this? An orange suit? Do you like it? I think I have myself. There's a hanger. Well, I came from my own personal closet. I would really like to have that hanger back when you're done, you know. <laughs> Holy crap! This is this this is an orange morph suit, like the one Raz has. What the what the crap? How did you? As I said, do not ask a lot of questions. No, sweetheart. <laughs> or should I say, orange gal? Yeah. Why don't you put the suit on? I may have got it in your side. You are a 2X after all, right? <laughs> so let me get this straight. You want me to put this on, and it will get me into the Matrix, 
but at the same time you want me to do a makeup tutorial on how to turn myself into what did you just say my code name was? One, yes, one, and two. Yeah, one, two. Your code name is your code Orange name Gal, is your the female version of Orange female Boy. Of now put the suit on. The suit I am tired of, waiting. I'm tired of waiting. Orange Gal. Basically, I'm a gender swap version of what Raz turns into with Orange Boy. Yes, now quit yes. pissing about. Get the suit about. on. Get yeah, I did accept it. I did accept the mission. Alright, I guess I'll do it. But, can you at least put it back onto what I was watching before? I was in the middle of watching Raz. It was this new video on Shin Megami Tensai. Fine, fine. fine. But only fine. because it's Raz. Because it's I mean, Raz. he is pretty hot. He is. Wait! Hold on a second, that's a little bit of a stereotypical, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually a quiet girl who likes to keep to herself, you know what I'm saying? That's what I am. But... Okay, the I can't. What? Sorry. I think okay, this suit, wait, even though I haven't put it on yet, is starting so to change my mind <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but. Yo, what did I <laughs> Damn it! I normally wouldn't say this, but I have a work. I have a mission to do. All right, time to put the son of a gun on. But I want to need a little help. Time to summon me a friend. Oh gosh, dang it! There we go. All right, Mr. Skulls is in place. Alright. Here goes nothing. A little bit of salt. Cinnamon. To balance out the insane with the same. Okay, here goes. Mr. Turtle. I call you from the other side of the world to come and help me. Mr. Turtle, nice of you to join me. I'm gonna need your help. Well, help me sit up, my girl, and I may be able to help you. What is it that you need? Well, apparently some person hacked my computer, came from the Matrix, and told me that I needed to create an orange gallon makeup tutorial based off of your boy, Razbowski, and I need to put on the suit. Well, well, a sentence like this will become cheap, especially for me. If you do something for me, then I will help you with your suit. And maybe even your makeup. So, do we have a deal? <laughs> Fine. If you do this, I will see if I can get you pictures of Budo's feet. Blended. <laughs> I don't even know why I had to summon you. I'm not giving you my feet. Now I am disappoint. Who cares if you're disappoint? I have a video to do. Just 
better. Wait a minute. I can't put these on yet. I've yet to do. Look. Crap. But doesn't mean I, I can't do it now. Hey, Mr. Turtle, can you help me out here? Well then, pick me up and put me on your shoulder. Also, your booty looks fantastic in this. I mean, it makes your butt of look a little big, but... <laughs> Mr. Turtle does like big booty women. Of course my butt looks big in this thing. It's a 2X suit. It's the biggest the, the person had. Say one more thing to me about how I look in this, and you are going back to Scotland. And you won't get those pictures of Buddha's feet. Yeah, you better be a good turtle. I don't take kindly to hard shelled pains in my butt. Now, let's dive deeper into the Matrix, shall we? Now, what you're going to need to do is first take off your hood and ponytail your hair up. I said ponytail. And also get your one hand free out of your suit, but make sure your bra is still on. <laughs> Next step, foundation. You always gotta prime your face with a little bit of foundation. So I use the Sassy and Chic uh, foundation in pale, because that's, my, my, that's what my skin is. I'm pale as a freaking ghost. <laughs> Next up, you know what's next. Priming our eyes with the Mac Panic Goth White Foundation. I still love this stuff. I, I use it for all my makeup. Because it lasts and lasts and lasts. Even lasts when I sleep. And I always forget to take off my makeup when I get ready to go to bed. <laughs> Let's get our other arm free. Cover up our chest, of course. Next, use the LA Colors Eyeshadow Trio in Lily. And put a towel over our suit so we don't get any black eyeshadow on it. I used a fluffy brush and dabbed a bunch of black eyeshadow on. Just to make it look a little subtle. I couldn't find what I was looking for. Where'd it go? Let's found it. Next, take the LA Colors Eyeshadow Trio in Lotus. And after a little bit of searching for my brush, oh, hold on. I used the um, awesome. I think it's called the uh, Awesome 18 Eyeshadow Palette in Eclipse, and used the orange to go around the black. Because, hello, we're orange gal, not a pumpkin. <laughs> I scratched my nose. Next, go back to the same palette and use the light orange. More like the, uh, kind of a dirty orange to, for the inside of my eyes and the corners of my eyes. Just give it some definition. Next, go back to the eyeshadow trio in, um, oh crap, what was it called? Lotus, and use the gold for the same area, just to give it a little more oomph. Just a little dance break. <laughs> I went back for the orange and just highlighted what I, well, what I missed. <laughs> I hate when I stammer in videos. It took me a while to find what I was looking for. <laughs> Sorry. Gosh dang it, I'm always losing stuff. Found it. Next, take the Wet n Wild uh, Photo Ready Blush in Champagne Rose and just make my cheeks a little more happy. Next, take the LA Colors Highlighter Trio in Wild Child and go in with the Orange Gold just for a little shine, you know? Those oranges have their own shine. Especially mandarin oranges. <laughs> Next, take the MAC uh, eyeliner pencil in black and just go in with a winged liner like I normally do. 
because certain wing liner can give you a bold appearance. Especially if you're trying to hack into the Matrix. Sometimes I have to hold the side of my head just so I can get the perfect wing on either side. <laughs> Next, I take the same eyebrow, uh, same eyeliner, what the hell. Same eyeliner pencil and darken my eyebrows in just for the you know, signature Raz look. And to get that little notch in his eyebrow, I use some white eyeshadow from the Lily Trio and a eyeliner an eyeliner brush. And I just shade it in my eyebrow just like that. It took a little bit, but I also used a little bit of the black to uh, fill it in. That way it looks right. I take the Maybelline Falsies, push up mascara, and just kind of touch it up. Make my eyelashes look a little bit longer, both upper and lower. Thankfully, I didn't poke my eye out in this tutorial or during the filming of this process. And what's a hacker without a little bit of sparkle? I take some silver glitter and just dab it along my eye, my eye where the black is because it kind of looks like sparks. Like you accidentally hacked it too far into the matrix and you caused a little bit of a power outage. Whoopsie. But hey, I got a sparkle. Next, take some the Revlon Color Stain Lipstick in I forgot what it's called Temptation. I have a little bit of sparkle and I just rub it in my lips for a little extra flair. <laughs> no dance break. Sorry, I was putting everything up during this part. <laughs> Next, you just slide your arms back into your suit. Pull your hood up over your hair. Make sure not to mess up your makeup. Readjust your ponytail to where it doesn't get caught in the zipper of my hood of the suit like it always frickin' does. Readjust, and then add your hacker shade and your turtle, and you're good to go. Full dance break. There you go. Got your hacker shades on and with a little bit of sparkle. Check out that. We're finally the beautiful and ever so sparkly orange gal. And yes, I had to blip because blipping is adorable. <laughs> but even hacking it can get a little tiring. <laughs> but still, don't we look beautiful? We're all sparkly. And this look, I was inspired to make it because Raz is one of my favorite YouTubers, 100%. Oh, my phone charm freaked this up. But still, look at us. It's so sparkly and beautiful. And I'm debuting this look next year at OMGCon 2019. Oh. But yeah, Raz inspired me to make this look. And not only that, he inspires me to do a lot of things. Including be a sassy gal. Because he is 100% full of sweet Scottish sass. <laughs> I even had to do that. I'm sorry. I had to do that because of what he does. <laughs> okay, Mr.
mysterious matrix thing. I have turned myself into orange gal, top to bottom, with makeup. And shades. And the turtle was summoned. What else do you need me to do? Well, wow, you look pretty orange and fantastic. Now your next mission, if you choose to accept it, which you should, is to create a cosplay makeup look of a certain person who has a pink mustache, just a snapro, and is currently on the run from his um, oh, who was his name? I can't remember what it was. Was it Abe, his friend? And, and, um, and maybe, maybe if you play your cards right, I can provide, provide you with the outfit for that one. <laughs> I mean, I am feeling pretty, I'm generous. Feeling pretty generous. So you need me to create another look based on someone who's on the run, has a pink mustache, and apparently originally had an afro. You got it, Orange Babe. You got it, Orange Babe. Now, if you excuse me, I'm very tired. Very tired. Can you please shut me off for the night? I mean, all you gotta do is just shut off your computer. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Mr. Turtle, it looks like we're on another adventure, but I guess I won't be uh, needing you for this next one. What do you mean you won't need me? We had a thing together. Oh, come on, don't be such a hard shelled spoil sport. You'll come back soon. I mean, I am debuting this look at OMGCon uh, 2019. And you made me step in something. Lol, you stepped in eyeliner. Okay, that's it. I'm teleporting you back to Raz. Boink. Ow, that was uncalled for. Pick me up. I might get a suit clean before June next year. Oh well. What else is there to do but watch Raz? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to <laughs> deliberate a hell out of Tokyo, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>